Um, since we don't have a quorum tonight at the town board meeting, we are going to just have an informational presentation by Karen Rue of the Duchess Land Conservancy, and she's going to tell us about uh, an interesting proposal for the um, a parcel in the town of Amenia. Thanks, Karen. Is it okay if I just put the mats right in here? Sure. Do you need maybe a little more towards the audience? I think. Okay. Yeah, that's good. And you'll need to go to the podium to speak. Thank you. Uh, so thank you very much. My name is Karen Rue with Duchess Land Conservancy, and thanks for having us on your agenda today. Um, I am here to seek endorsement for a um, proposal in which we are seeking funding to purchase development rights on Destined Wind Farm in the town of Amenia. I'll back up just a little bit and um, introduce uh, Duchess Land Conservancy, which is a not-for-profit organization. We've been working in Dutchess County for about 30 years. We primarily work with um, private landowners who uh, wish to place restrictions on their property. It's a voluntary um, process in which they approach DLC. We talk about um, the natural resources of their property. They place restrictions limiting um, typically the number of houses and where they can build on their property. And uh, these, this results in a conservation easement which is then filed with the Dutchess County Clerk and um, is a permanent part of the, of the deed. Um, the property remains in private land ownership. The um, landowner retains the right to use the property as they customarily would. They um, can convey it to the heirs. They can sell it. They continue to pay school taxes and county, town, fire district taxes on the property. Um, and, uh, and, but it uh, has a public benefit um, in that um, resources such as streams and wetlands and important farmland soils, um, as well as viewshed from public vantage points like public roads, trails, public parks, um, are all protected uh, in perpetuity. And so um, as part of that process, we uh, do work with farmers who um, uh, you know, have successful uh, operations on their property, um, who wish to restrict their property. Um, these restrictions often have a financial value, and so um, with a lot of farmers, they um, can't necessarily take advantage of the income tax deductions that some can, and so they seek um, funding to uh, opportunities to sell those development rights. Dutch's Land Conservancy doesn't necessarily have the funding available to always be able to purchase those development rights, and so we we seek funding on behalf of the landowner from, um, in this case today, what I'm uh, bringing to you is um, Dutchess County as well as New York State um, into the future. And so, um, so I'll talk a little bit about the farm. Uh, this is Destined Wind Farm, owned by members of the Miley family. Um, Hans Jörg Miley, uh, Jörg Sr. is here, as well as Craig Miley. Um, Craig owns Miley Farm, which is actually further along Route 343 um, and straddles the New York, Connecticut line. Um, so I'm going to come over here. Well, we have um, a traveling mic if you want to. Oh, yeah, have that'd that. be great. I think, uh, Mike has the mic. So Destined Wind Farm is a dairy farm which has been in operation for over 30 years now. Um, Hans Jörg Miley and his son Jörg Jr. purchased the property in the early 80s um, as a way to relocate and expand the dairy farm. Um, the property is consists of two tax parcels, one 150-acre parcel owned by um, York Sr., and then the 82-acre parcel, which is owned by the four siblings, four Miley siblings. Um, the property is on Route 343. This red star here is Town Hall, to show where we are. As you travel along Route 343, you cross the Harlem Valley Rail Trail, and the um, harvest stores sort of come into to view, um, as well as cornfields and meadow. Um, and then um, there's a, about a mile of frontage along Route 343 um, of both properties. Um, as you can see here, um, there is a 
approximately um, about a third of a mile um, on route, th uh, sorry, the, the Harlem Valley Rail Trail, in which there is a very clear and dominating um, viewshed of the farm for those who are traveling on the Harlem Valley Rail Trail. Um, So as I mentioned earlier, um, in terms of natural resources, uh, funding agencies that we turn to for farmland protection place a high priority on farmland soils in addition to um, a successful farm operation. And you can see that the uh, Destin Wind Farm, over 66% of the property contains soils that are considered prime or of statewide importance by, um, by uh, the USDA. These are mapped remotely. And then it also fits within um, town priorities. Um, this is the uh, Scenic Protection Overlay District um, from, that was adopted as part of uh, the Comprehensive Plan Update for the town of Amenia in 2007. And you can see that the property, which is located within the circle here, is actually um, fits within all four of the subcategories of the Scenic Protection Overlay District, which includes um, viewpoints, uh, Farm Route 343, as well as the um, trail, uh, view shed, as well as um, road visual protection, and then also the ridgeline uh, visual protection zone. The farm is nestled um, against the backdrop of Rattlesnake Mountain, the very northern part of Rattlesnake Mountain, and so it's a it's a very striking view as you're um, coming along, and I think really um, speaks to the, the heritage of the town of Amenia, which, again, the comprehensive plan update really emphasized the heritage of Amenia being in working farms and that it characterizes the town of Amenia and encourages the use of conservation easements in order to maintain that into the future. And so we see this application to Dutchess County um, and then also in the future to New York State as being um, sort of helping to implement um, goals that are stated uh, very clearly in the, the comprehensive plan update. Um, we want to show you as part of the um, site plan for the property. Um, here is a uh, focus in on the property. Uh, the 150 acre parcel, um, the uh, landowners proposed to extinguish any subdivision rights on that 150 acres. They do uh, plan to retain a five acre exclusion, um, York Jr hopes one of his kids will want to live on the farm in the future. Um, and so we'll be able to have that house there along Yellow City Road. But this piece of land down here does not have a big impact on the farm overall. And so it does not detract from use of the farm. Um, so there's one farmstead where they would be able to have their home, um, they would build another house, uh, have some barns, um, really do whatever they need to do in order to have a successful farm operation. Um, they are also proposing a rural enterprise area along Route 343. Um, and that is part of uh, Jorg's sort of future planning for the, the property, for the farm, and how he actually plans to um, use some of the proceeds from the sale of development rights, which is to sort of scale back on the dairy a little bit, um, still maintain a dairy, but add some diversity to the farm operations so that um, he would have more, um, introduce more livestock uh, for meat, as well as grow some high value vegetable crops, um, and then institute a farm stand um, within the rural enterprise area, uh, which would take advantage of um, traffic along Route 343, as well as perhaps um, people who are traveling along the Harlem Valley Rail Trail. And then on the 82 acre parcel, again, they propose to extinguish subdivision rights on that. So between these two parcels, which add up to 227 acres, um, they would be limited to two ownerships. And um, because there are no structures on the property right now, we have um, two potential farmstead areas in which um, at, a, at a future date, they would have to select one and then the other um, you know, would be extinguished. So. Um, 
Again, we ask for endorsement from the town to uh, write a letter of support for our uh, Dutchess County application. And then when New York State opens their funding round, which we anticipate will happen, we hope will happen in uh, 2017 sometime, um, that the town would provide a letter of endorsement for that application as well. Um, we are applying for 30% of the funding from Dutchess County, and we will apply to New York State for the remaining 70%. When is the one, the letter of support due for the Dutchess County application? Um, the application has actually already been submitted uh, because things sort of hastened along so quickly we didn't have a chance to come ahead of time to you. Mm -hmm. So as soon as you can, if you're, the um, county planning board has said that they will accept letters after the application date. So it goes to the county uh, head of the planning? It Aaron is addressed um, to Mr. Hans Klingzon, and I can provide you with um, that yes, contact you information. Yes, uh, could you provide all that information, and we'll get a letter of support out to you as soon as possible? Yep. Um, I actually have a, a summary here for you, and I'll provide um, the remaining information. That's excellent. Um, by email. That's great. I can help um, put the letter together, if that helps Victoria. That's very, very exciting. So 227 acres in total would be conserved. Yep, uh, the two properties together are 232 acres, um, but because they're excluding the right. five acre um, zone, that comes out to 227 acres. And again, we feel that this would really be an enhancement to the town, um, not an enhancement, it would maintain the town's agricultural um, views and, and character. Well, this is very exciting. Good work. I'm just uh, really happy to see this happening in the town of Amenia. Good. Good. I can That's think of no negatives. We certainly are very um, excited to keep agriculture where we can uh, viable and um, protect the, the important soils that once they're gone, they're gone. And this community does have prime agricultural land. One thing that I know we are missing in our comprehensive plan, I believe, and zoning is an, a farmland protection plan. And your application might have been stronger, I guess, if we'd had it. But we certainly have generous um, uh, information in our comprehensive plan um, specifically stating that those goals, like you said. So I. I'm just sorry that we haven't yet gotten around to that. And are we one of the few towns that haven't done an ag, a farmland protection plan? In other words, if we had particularly said this is an important property, it would have probably been even more competitive, right? It is definitely more competitive if the town has a farmland protection plan. And if that is something the town is interested in doing, New York State Ag and Markets does provide funding to help um, hire consultants and um, assist the town through that process of developing a plan. Um, uh, and so, yeah, it would definitely be helpful. Um, they, they do in their scoring, particularly for um, New York State in their, they have a bonus section mm -hmm. and um, having a farmland protection plan does help a lot in that, in that section. Well, any um, information you can give us on that, we would appreciate also. Yeah, I'd be happy to forward that to you. Absolutely. It would be um, wonderful. Because I know there are a tremendous number of, um, you know, we, in part of putting this together, we, you know, we found that there are um, almost 5,000 acres of working farms that are, you know, more or less um, contiguous and, and in very close proximity to each other, working farm lands, um, you know, surrounding this farm. Oh, really? And, uh, a little over a thousand acres of that are under easement with DLC, um, but uh, you know having having town be able to to focus on you know how to protect more of um, of what are very valuable farms in this town would be wonderful. And I assume this is a very critical amount of funding that could make sure that the farm is economically viable to continue on because I. I know that my husband works for Fishkill Farms in Hopewell Junction, and they had a purchase of development right, which helped them capitalize, which helped them carry on into, you know, secure the future. So, and that was like 100, and 100 acres um, that they put into an easement, but it can mean the difference to a farm whether or not they can continue on into the future or not. So I think 
the sooner we would get an ag protection plan to make, and the state is very positive about this sort of thing, and so is the county, obviously, willing to put up 30% of the uh, costs. So I think the, the time is now. If you want to save farmland, I would think we need to do it now rather than um, sit on it for too long, because there's money out there, right? And we don't know how long it will continue to be funded. Yeah, um, there was a hiatus, you know, during the economic um, downturn, downturn right. and just in the last couple of years, New York State and now Dutchess County, this is their second funding round that they've opened up again, um, and they've indicated that they are, um, you know, I know our, our county executive has been extremely supportive of farmland protection and, and you know, seems to give full indication that he plans to continue this into the future. Obviously, we can't speak for the next year, but... Um, so yes, it is very exciting. New York State has been very supportive in the last couple of years, as has the county, and so, yeah, we're... And the economic part of the plan sounds extremely um, good for um, the balance that we seek to strike in that we want to generate um, economic activity. Agritourism is supposed to be the thing we all have that's special in our area, so we should continue to try and capitalize it before we lose it. Thank you so much, Karen, for coming. My pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> um, so should I, uh, I'll, I don't know if you have to make a decision about um, officially endorsing or um, should I get in touch with you tomorrow? How would you like me to proceed with that? Well, we can send a letter of support. I don't, uh, I don't think that we have any trouble sending a letter of support, writing a letter of support um, Wonderful. on our behalf. And if okay. Yeah, we, we can put that together and yeah. give it to me before I go. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, you're going, <laughs> going away soon. Mm -hmm. That's right. Thank well, you very, very much. Well, you're very welcome. And thank you for coming and doing your presentation and giving our local farmers this wonderful opportunity. <laughs> Um, since we don't have a quorum, um, we're unable to um, have our meeting tonight. Uh, Council, Councilman um, Guterres um, sent an email and said he had to travel for his work at the last minute. I received a text from Councilwoman Hitzelberger saying there was a problem at her home and she wouldn't be able to attend. Um, we did not hear anything from Councilman Delango, and despite attempts to email, text, and phone him, we have not heard anything. So at this time, we need to um, close and um, try to set up the meeting for another day to get the important resolutions that we need to have passed as soon as possible done.